My name is Josh, I'm the official director of hats over at Stratus, and today I want to talk real quick and a little bit about what we would recommend for minimum office PC specs in 2021. So first thing out of the gate, solid state drives versus mechanical drives, it is 2021 and we do not recommend mechanical drives on almost anything we can avoid. Uh, if you're building like a RAID server and you need a huge ton of storage, then yes, okay, fine, mechanical drives are pretty hard to beat in a cost per terabyte scenario there. Uh, but for everything else, solid state drives are the king. So your basic office computer that's gonna be mainly used for email, Word, Excel, um, some very light web browsing and uh, you know line of business software that's pretty light um, pretty light on resources, those sort of applications. Um, we're going to recommend probably a quad core processor um, just because of the speed of technology and how much has progressed in the last few years. Um, quad core processors are plentiful, they're inexpensive, and they really kind of are necessary when you're dealing with Windows 10 and a lot of the security applications that are underlying that, keeping your system secure. So your basic office computer, uh, your, your basic office user, I should say, uh, that's going to be using it mainly for email, Word, Excel, a little bit of web browsing, like, you know, maybe a window with, you know, eight tabs or something like that in it, and uh, a fairly light uh, line of business software. So we're going to recommend something with a quad-core processor, uh, generally a Core i3 or a Ryzen 3 if you can get your hands on one, or if there's even a vendor that's selling machines with those. Uh, they're very far and few between. They're going to have probably 8 gigs of RAM is kind of where we start things with right now. For storage, we're going to recommend something like a 256 gig. This will be kind of dictated by what the machine is actually being used for, for the most part. But for the average person, 256 gigs on a business machine is more than adequate, especially if you're dealing with something like an environment that's using SharePoint or, or uh, OneDrive or something like that, where you have file streaming options. Uh, there's some nice-to-haves that we would probably recommend for the average machine uh, just because you can't always know what the environment's going to be like and we're kind of making these recommendations blind and in generalities right now. Um, I'm going to recommend any basic machine for sure has a surge protector on it. Um, it doesn't cover the entire realm of things that can electrically go wrong delivering power to a computer. But, you know, at least a, a 10, 1080 joule or something like that, more than a thousand joules of protection on a surge bar will at least deal with those spikes going to it. It doesn't deal with the droops and drops and brownouts and things like that that will also kill computers, but at least it deals with the spikes. Um, monitor wise, we're going to normally recommend a 24 inch IPS monitor. It's easy on the eyes, um, has nice rich colors, it's bright. Um, they're fairly inexpensive. Most 24-inch IPS monitors are, you know, in the $150 to $180 range. Uh, way less if you get them on a good sale or something like that. So your admin and power users. So they're going to be heavy into their email, maybe three or four instances of Outlook open at any given time with some extra messages skewing about the screen somewhere. Uh, Word, Excel, a pile of NAT charts maybe, uh, those sorts of things. Uh, heavier web browsing, they're going to have probably three to four, maybe even more windows of Chrome open, each with, you know, maybe uh, five, ten, fifteen tabs each of uh, active stuff they're working on. Uh, generally, we'll do a six to eight core machine. Uh, that's going to be an, a Core i5 or a Core i7, um, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7 equivalent there, depending on if you can get those. Pretty much anything over three gigahertz is going to be fast enough for the average person. So with all of these extra things that they're running and have open and then they need access to right away, you're gonna have more RAM usage. So we would recommend something 16 gigs or more. So once again, for them storage wise, 256 gigs of uh, SSD, uh, preferably NVMe fast storage. Um, is what we would probably build out for them. What they're working on is probably pretty important. You don't want them to lose their work in the case of a power outage or a power bump that, you know, knocks their machine offline. So a battery backup is generally what we'd recommend for that. Um, probably something with 15 to 20 minutes of runtime is totally adequate um, with the built-in auto shutdown software on the computer. 
So VIPs and execs, it's our belief here that technology should never be their limiting factor. Um, so we mostly follow the same specs that we laid out for your power users and uh, high productivity users. Um, the only thing that we would probably change a little bit with that is going to be more local storage just because your execs and VIPs are generally working all the time. They're not going to be in the office um, necessarily at a desk attached to a server or NAS or you know waiting for that stuff to upload and download from your SharePoint. So generally for them we'll put more local storage on the computer um, 512 gigs or a terabyte of um, NVMe SSD storage. That'll almost always come with an additional um, backup agent of some sort to get that back into a data center and backed up um, for the company just in case the machine gets lost, stolen, damaged, needs to be replaced. Who knows what happens to it, right? BitLocker is not really an option. Um, it, it's going to be on almost any VIP machine that we put out there. Um, once again, to protect it in case that machine gets lost or stolen, that data is completely unusable without the user's password. Uh, so for VIPs, we do generally recommend um, either Dell XPS laptops or LG Grams. Both are fantastic options, super lightweight, super portable, lots of options on them from you know a 13 inch model, 14, 15, even up to like a 17 inch LG Gram. Um, fantastic machines, all day batteries, you know, they will be there to work when when everyone else is too. Um, any anything for uh, for line of business software, um, we're going to follow the vendor's recommendation on that, of course, and defer to that, uh, just to make sure that your business has the best support and reliability from that vendor for the the mission critical software that you're, you're actually running. So that's just our 2021 guidelines and recommendations. Uh, let me know what you think. Too much? Too little? Where's tech going for the next five years? Let me know, comment below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!